hello everyone hope you are doing well so welcome back to another video in this video we will uh, uh, make an event booking gap and uh, this is the first video in this uh, series in which uh, we will uh, create the first screen of this event booking gap and uh, uh, the design uh, uh, that uh, design for this app is also uh, available so it's in figma so you can find the link uh, of that of this uh, figma uh, design in the description below and uh, after opening this figma design you can scroll down and click on free design file so you can access these uh, screens uh, design and uh, uh, the initial code is also uh, available on github so you can clone the github repo the repo link is given in the description below so after opening this uh, github repos you can see here as a splash initial this is the initial uh, code for this uh, lecture so you can clone this github repo by using uh, copying this link and going to android studio file new and project from vision control and paste the url in here and uh, the link will be uh, the project will be uh, uh, downloaded and set up for you and after the uh, completion of uh, this video on the github you can also you will also be able to see the splash underscore uh, final branch which contains the uh, final code of this lecture so this is it so let's uh, make the uh, uh, basic structure of the uh, project before that in this project we need few dependencies so in the gradle file you can see here uh, uh, this is the one dependency for view model and uh, this one is for the navigation in compose and uh, the project package structure is we will uh, uh, use the clean architecture and uh, uh, for that first we will create a package data which contains the uh, data uh, la uh, layer information source of the data domain which contains the business logic presentation layer will contains our whole UI screens and one another package common which contains uh, common uh, files which uh, will be used throughout this uh, whole project so so uh, we actually in this project we will not fully uh, uh, apply the clean architecture because in clean architecture we write our business logic in uh, domain layer and uh, in the use cases so for this project uh, mm, we will uh, write use case if there is any need for that otherwise we will uh, directly write our business logic in the view model so first of all move this UI and main activity to the presentation because this is belongs to the presentation oh, actually I forgot to mention that uh, this is the uh, event booking app which will uh, uh, you will be able to uh, see at the end of this whole series so in, this is the home screen horizontal slider event screen and uh, we have the profile screen actually it's not showing here i don't know what thing is missing here but uh, in the next is uh, this bottom dialog for filter these options and this side menu so these are the uh, things that you will be able to see after the completion of the series so as our Okay, so our UI and main activity have been moved to the main uh, to the presentation layer. So let's start the first screen of our project, which is a splash screen. So let's first uh, let's 
So let's first uh, analyze the UI component of this uh, screen. So in this screen, we have a logo with the event uh, with text event hub. So completely, it will be called as event hub. Event hub, and uh, we have few uh, background images on the top right corner, bottom right, and bottom left. So these are the whole uh, overview of the screens uh, which contains a text and three image background image. So first of all we will go to our presentation layer and uh, create a package splash. Splash screen file and create another package here components okay so in splash screen we write our first screen in compose and make a preview function as well so, so the purpose of this viewer is to see the preview in our uh, android studio so first of all splash screen and here we will about the components uh, UI components and uh, first of all we need to import these uh, components so select this component and uh, select this SVG from here and export this file in my case I have already imported it in, in here so just need to import in our project so new vector asset select local file option and go to our that particular file event hub finish finish and So here we have our image here. So I will make a box here. Modify fill max size. Image and uh, in which we have the option of painter resource so let's first import this import r event have first place for description pass null and we need to make this in the center of this whole screen so for that i will use modifier modifier centered and uh, the background color of this would be wa uh, white where is the background color yeah background color of this uh, screen is white okay so let's build and refresh to see the preview here 
So you need to build and refresh again. So there is something which is not working. What is that? Okay, it should be API level 34. Navigation require 34 or later. So let's go to our greater file and make this up compile SDK version to 34 and target 34. So now build and refresh it again. Okay, so our preview have been rendered and event hub is uh, showing at the center of the screen. So the next thing is we need to show these uh, background shadow images. So for that we need to export these images as PNG and uh, make the quality to 4x and export it so this is the ic so name it as img top right img background splash actually background top right and uh, this one is bottom right and uh, this one is bottom right bottom right and uh, this one is bottom left bottom left and uh, copy this three images to our drawable directory and now we need to show these images one by one the first one uh, for that I will copy this one and the first image would be let's hide this one for a moment and uh, for the first one will be uh, top right top and in the in this uh, alignment value img background top right bottom right I am in background bottom right and bottom left it will be bottom start and bottom right okay so all these our background images have been applied so let's go to our preview and build and refresh it because uh, we have uh, added a few uh, images in the in our uh, resource directory so just remember that whenever you are don't, uh, we are uh, adding any kind of uh, 
uh, a file or any kind of change in our resource directory then we need to build and refresh our project to see the preview again so our it's uh, loading it here okay so the our images have been uh, shown here this will be bottom start ing bottom left okay so as you can see here our uh, background images have been placed uh, as per our uh, uh, design so let's uh, run this on our physical device and see the effect on our uh, device phone so let's run it oh uh, actually I forgot to something that uh, we have to <coughs> put this <coughs> splash screen on our main activity main activity and uh, remove this extra stuff from here which is a default one and uh, the background will be white for all screens and here we will put our splash screen now we need to run this on our device so let's run it so this is uh, on our physical device so it is uh, perfectly as power as per our as per our UI design so actually not perfectly this image is going uh, to the top of this in here so okay so let's see what change we need to apply to make this well we just need to decrease the put some margin on top of it how much let's say 50 dp Let's alt enter to import this. So let's further increase it up to one hundred. Okay, it's not uh, affecting as it's need to be let's make this uh, 200 it's not affecting in here so let's apply the I would say specific width and height to this one so if I will say 349 by 330 
okay so now it's good it's uh, at the uh, bottom of the screen and what is the dimension of this one this is uh, height is 153 so apply this height one fifty three dp to this one okay so this is also as per the design so let's put the height of this one as well so the height of this one is two zero nine Okay, so, so now these things looks like uh, according to our design and uh, let's run it and see it on our physical device. So yeah, it's uh, good now. Now it's perfectly showing according to our design. So yeah this is it for today so in this video we will make the splash screen of uh, first screen of our this event booking event booking uh, project uh, and uh, this one is splash screen so i hope this video will be helpful for you and uh, in the next video we will create this onboarding flow so uh, if this video is helpful for you so so let me share your com uh, feedback in the comments below and uh, if you have any suggestion to improve that thing then uh, please also mention that in the comments below so thank you for watching see you in the next one bye bye